Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Izzul Islam bin Muhammad Jahid. Today I will be presenting about Lab 5 Lab Report that is Design and Analysis Display. Uh, today I will be presenting the introduction part. So our group consists of five people that is Muhammad Akmal Hakim, Muhammad Buhari, Muhammad Izzad Amiri, myself and Muhammad Nur Ahmad Izzul. For the introduction part, the disc brake assembly has a metal disc or rotor instead of drum. It uses a pair of flat line shoes or pads that are forced against the rotating disc to produce braking. The pads are held in a caliper that straddle the disc. The resulting frictional contact slows the and stops the disc and wheels. If pads on one side are worn more severely, severely than the opposite side of the vehicle, the piston may be stuck in the cylinder of the opposite seat caliper. In this laboratory session, we as a group are required to design a brake disc or rotor and do a simulation on the braking force acting on the disc. So that is all for my part. We will proceed to the next part. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, my name Muhammad Buhari bin Seman My metric number B092010071 Now I'm going to present for the procedure part for lab 1 For the lab 1, we need to design a disc brake rotor based on the drawing given in Katia V5 software This is a, a sketch from the lab 1 and we need to draw it by using Katia. First, we need to sketch the body rotor on the XY plane based on the measurement that we have in lab 1. Next, the sketch we can convert to the 3D model by using the shaft and create a rotor this 3D animation. For the slotted we use the we need to sketch on the plane on the rubber surface and array after that we can pocket to get a slot for the hole on the red rotor we create a circle in the curve position and we use the pocket up to last the surface and make a hole for the aerodynamic, we can see the fin at the B side of the rotor. We need use the groove and we make a curve on the fin, fin the B side the rotor. For the nut hole on the rotor, we just create a circle based on the major drawing. Array for the four nut and make a pocket up to the last. This is a model of my group. Uh, this rotor. So that's all from me. Thank you. Hello and assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Akmal Hakim bin Muhammad Hadi, and I will discuss about the result of the lab one break. As you can see, this is the structure analysis of the result. At the left side, this is the displacement displacement display, and at the right side is the phone mistress. As you can see, for the result of the maximum phone mistress is one point five three newton meter square, and the minimum phone mistress is four point six three newton meter square. The transnational displacement is three hundred twenty three meter millimeter and the safety factor of the the safety factor of the our material is grey cast iron is 0 0.50 it the yield stress divided by the maximum for stress and the result we get is 0 0.057 and that is the result of our lab 1 Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Akmal Rizal and I'm going to do the discussion for this lab. So, for the discussion from the experiment, 
the volume is stress is 4.63 or of 7 newton meter square and the maximum volume is stress is the 1.53 power of 11 newton meter square so to calculate the factory the factor of safety is by dividing the yield strength by the maximum volume stress so the obtained factor of safety is 0.057 this means that uh, the material is not safe to use in the display or the design can be improved to increase the rigidity because in order to make the design is more suitable for use we need to do the F, we need to design so the FOS is more than one or even better is two and above so that's all for me thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Muhammad Izzat Damiri I will be presenting the conclusion for lab 1 break system so at the end of the lab session we can conclude that the design and material used to make the disc rotor have to be determined precisely according to the situation it want to be used the maximum force that applied to the disc rotor need to be calculated before deciding the material and the design with the vented, drilled and slotted design of the disc rotor it helps with the dissipation of the heat that form caused by the friction of the brake pad and the disc rotor. The design and material used for the disc rotor plays a huge role to achieve the performance and maximum force required. That's all from me. Thank you.